Hello everyone, we're going to continue where we left up, off. Uh, so we can just delete this out of the scene, we don't need it anymore. Uh, the render effects can remove the network player start and go. Uh, the template label can also go. And let's just play now and yeah, we'll just drop in wherever it feels like dropping us. I'll just create a cylinder to show you all a problem that emerges immediately. Let's put this to 0.25, 1, lock it, 0.25. Alright, let's just go hit play. Let's actually remove the collision from this cylinder. Uh, the collision. No collision. Let's play. Uh, a problem arises now. As you can see, the perspective is way off. We, our camera completely rotates around this thing and it just looks weird when in gameplay for instance if i were to walk up to here you can see not quite see but well uh mostly with things like this it just looks weird so a very easy fix is just setting this to zero setting this also to zero i don't know why that even is at one but if we were to walk up to it now uh as you can see just proper so we'll just contain the aspect ratio, just so we don't get any problems with uh, attaching the gun. And that's precisely what we're going to do right now. So add a component, add a skeletal mesh component. Uh, be sure to make this 0.5 uh, across the board. Let's add the arms. Why 0.5? Uh, that's a good question. Well. This prevents clipping. If I were to set this to 1 and just its normal settings, uh, which is minus 165 and 90, minus 90, and minus 10, or 10, just normal 10, I'm sorry. Uh, and I were to set this to the FPS arms and name blueprint, that one. It was minus 10, wasn't it? Yeah, it was minus 10. Uh, and not set it, then I would be able to look through the arms. Or was it 10? I can't seem to remember. Let's see what would then do. It was minus 10. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. It was minus 10. Yeah, that looks right. Uh, we're not going to add a gun right now, so don't add another skeletal mesh because uh, we're going to create a subsection in the blueprints. So let's add a new folder, call this folder weapons. In this weapons will add a new folder, call this the core. So this is the core of our weapon. Uh, what we will do actually is, as I said, add this to 0.5 across the board. Add this to minus 83 and add this to minus 5. And now, as you can see, you don't see any difference, only that it won't clip. Uh, except if something of course does not have a collision like this but there aren't ren any rendered layers I could find uh, in Unreal Engine 4 it was in Unreal Engine 3 I don't know why they removed that feature but they did uh, so I just have to do it this way but now it has a low chance to clip and I'll also show you uh, a way to never make it clip uh, this is of course not what we want, not quite what we want. Uh, let's add a component, let's add an empty scene component, let's call this one weapon component. So what we'll do is attach this there and it is already correct. So this will just be an empty component where we will attach our weapons to. So this is uh, all I wanted to do in this video, just preparing our controller for the weapon. And next time I will add a weapon and in, uh, create some variables we will need later.